hi again uh, this is the cool geek and uh, we left off uh, in the plan and preparation of how we are going to build the dashboard and how we have the data with us so first of all we are going to begin with uh, uh, the employee data that we have already and uh, the first calculation that we are going to begin is the small table that is available here so uh, first of all we need all the empty depart uh, all the departments that are unique so uh, let's go to this data what i'm going to do is i'm going to select f2 the department press down control sh uh, control uh, control shift and down which will select the complete column wherein i would be able to get all the uh, data here uh, for the department so i say copy and i'm going to take it to the hr calculation sheet sheet i'm going to place it there and just it just thing so now once i have this what i can what i can do is i can simply go to the data tab and say remove duplicates yes my data headers uh, my data has headers and i'm going to remove the duplicates so once i do that you can see that I get all the unique departments in that particular list. So I'm going to just maintain a uniform format here and using the format painter. And also I would just take the liberty to sort the data accordingly. So I have all my unique departments placed over here. Now what we need next is the salary bonus over time total salary bonus over time and total so what i'm going to do is uh, for the um, quick, to get this done quickly i'll just copy all the column headings here go to the hr calculations and paste them there okay so now i'm just also going to maintain the format and a little bit of formatting right so once i have this done now i need to calculate the salary the total salary of a particular department for which i'm going to do a little trick so what i have to do is select the complete data and i just select any one of the cells in the data and say control a which will select all the complete data go to the formula tab and say name manager uh, sorry, uh, it's define names. Now define names, I can s uh, um, with the define names, what I can do is I can create a name for the particular range and use that in the formulas back there in the, f uh, in the data that uh, we are trying to summarize for all the departments. Uh, we have to do it individually, idly if we are doing it for a particular column, but uh, there is a uh, option where we can create multiple names from a from a particular selection so I'm going to say it's only be the top rows so I'm going to name the A3 to A98 to be as full name and a higher date to be uh, the range B3 to B98 and so and so forth so once I do that if you click on the name manager you will see that the bonus is this particular thing uh, the department full name and so and so forth we have different different values available there so once I've done that uh, I have uh, the names here so suppose for example let me say I want to select department you, you as you can see it will de uh, select the department for me or else I can just go to the name box and click on over time and it would select the over time data for me so it's a very quick and easy way to summarize data uh, using Excel so I'll go back to my HR calculations I need to bring up the salary so I, I will use the sum if function so sum if I would s like to sum the salary it would idly pop up with this tag kind of stif um, picture uh, along with it so I'll hit tab um, uh, it should be the criteria that we want uh, to have it actually um, 
so I would like to have I would like to have uh, the department here department um, oh, I'm sorry it's the sum if it's department the first argument is the range that I'm going to select is from the department the criteria will be the department name so that would be a 15 and the sum range would be nothing but the salary so once I close that you would see that I would get the salary I just double click on this and it gives me the salary here so what I can do is I can say go to the home tab and make this as dollar without the zeros so that would give me the salary for the particular department whatever is going on similarly I will quickly go and go on and do the the sum of the bonus so it's again sum if sum if take the range as department and the criteria is again going to be accounting and the sum range is going to be bonus so I get my bonuses as well similarly I will go ahead and do the overtime also sum if the range is going to be department I'm sorry department criteria is going to be again accounting and the sum range is going to be over time close similarly the total is going to be nothing but sum of the salary plus bonus plus overtime similar to the one that is available here so I'm going to go there to the calculations is equal to sum of these three similarly I'm going to also have the number of days so the number of days is nothing but going back to this um, um, I'm sorry it's not the number of uh, days it's number of employees in the department so it's just hidden I'll just increase the size here number of employees so it's going to be count if the range is obviously department and the criteria is obviously the first column here so there are 10 employees in the accounting department and so on the average salary average salary is going to be the average salary is going to be nothing but our salary divided by number of employees in the department uh, just for the sake of it I'll just round it off round it to number of digits zero so that gives me the average salary in the department also the total number of sick days would be given by sum if department criteria is going to be accounting again or uh, the first column and the sum is uh, going to be the sick days that's again giving me that the average sick days is nothing but going to it's going to be number of total sick days divided by oh I'll just round this off round of total number of sick days divided by number of employees comma and I'm going to have zero digits I can simply copy them down and this is the primary data that we have uh, summarized just for the f formatting sake let me have a proper format for all of them and yes so it looks like sales does not have overtime uh, value yes it is zero so we'll leave that to zero now um, once with the primary data is completed we are going to begin with the next calculation that is number of employees in a particular year so that is year and employee so I'll just copy them again come back to this place uh, let's have it here so let's say um, let's go back to our data and check how many uh, how much what kind of data we have 
filter and as you can see I have people from 2008 2000 to 2008 go back to my HI calculation and I will put from 2000 to 2001 to 2008 yep so number of employees in a particular year so to do this we need to get the count of employees in a particular year which can be done by nothing but I would begin with getting the last date of a particular year here similar to how he has got it so it's obviously 31st of 12 every year so it's going to be nothing but is equal to date of a particular year comma month is going to be 12th month and the day is obviously going to be 31st all of them the same and I get the particular date now I would get the count of employees count of employees which have the criteria that is let's say the count of um, higher date based on the criteria that it is less than less than less than our date so that would be six and you will get the distribution here so the next part of our data is all uh, the dashboard is to get our salary uh, range definitions so for which uh, I have all uh, these there are some ranges already uh, put here uh, for at any point of time you can just simply pause this video and uh, put this out uh, properly so I'm just going to uh, put these values uh, just copy it from here and put it back to this place right uh, also um, the sum and calculations so some salary range and employee count I'm going to get it and put it here so we have them so the the number of employees and all that also would be calculated uh, I'll also just pick the salary range Mm, just to save some manual work <laughs> copy that and put it here that's my salary range so first of all I need to get a count of employees in a particular salary range so let's say um, if, a per, if a particular person is less than 30,000 I would like to get the uh, sum of it so basically I would count it if count the person if he is under a particular salary so I would say is equal to count if count the uh, salary of people which have the criteria that is less than our 30,000 so there are 8 employees on it and it will go on so I would have 8 employees here but the rest of would be uh, the the range that would uh, def define is nothing but 22 minus 8 so it's nothing but this minus the above one so copy that down and you would get the number of empl employee count in a particular salary range so uh, this is how we build the calculations uh, please feel free to pause the videos at any point of time and since this is the first time that I'm making these videos I might be a little fast or might have missed some concepts somewhere uh, you can post any doubts or any queries that you have on the forum um, excel.fxnike.com uh, or you can leave a YouTube comment just below in that uh, just after the description uh, section or else you can simply uh, give me a mail on this ID uh, or you could also email me at
thank you for watching the video uh, in the next video we are going uh, i'm going to show you how how we are going to uh, build the final face of the uh, dashboard uh, thank you